When you are in the first stage, it's a mix of emotions. You feel nervous, anxiety, but the most important, I think, is try to stay calm because you need to be concentrated to, to read the road book and go full, full gas. So yeah, you need to, to sit down a little bit and, and stay calm before the, the storm. <laughs> So navigation essentially boils down to three things. You have a compass, you have an odometer, and you have the road book. The road book consists of your mileage, your tulip, or the note that's inside, and then you have a third box on the right that essentially describes the note or gives you more uh, navigation. Navigation in Dakar is one of the most important parts of the rally and one of the key for, for the win because you can be the fastest guy in, in the race, but if you don't know how to navigate, or if you just only follow lines of the others, the, of the people who open the stage, then you, you cannot win the race. So you really have to, to trust in you, trust in your decisions, and of course, one mistake of navigation, you can lose the race, you can lose a lot of minutes, hours, and yeah, it's, it's really important. So it's kind of the most uh, primal way of like navigating your way through the desert, and it's awesome. And I, it's another reason why I love the sport of rally so much is because it doesn't come down to, yes, you have to be fast, yes, you have to be all of these other things, but if you can't navigate or if you, or if you fall off of your navigation or anything, it doesn't matter if everything else is perfect. Navigation is key and you have to stay on top of it. To prepare the roadbook now is, is quite difficult. So they gave you the, the roadbook of the stage and then you have only 20 minutes to get ready to start and also to put the roadbook on your bike. Navigation definitely is up there with number one as the most important skill that a Dakar racer has to have because you know essentially you could come from motocross background, you can come from off-road like myself or anything else, and it's a completely other aspect that you throw into, you know. Just going fast through the desert doesn't really cut it. You have to be able to navigate. And so to be able to navigate at speed is definitely the most number one thing that you have to do during the Dakar in order to achieve a good result. Um, if you mess up one little thing, it could be the difference. So number one, for sure, navigation. When you get lost at Dakar, it's a different story than another race because when you get lost in that race, you feel like the world is over, more or less, because every second you think it's a minute. And it's one, another one of the reasons why we train so hard is because it's not really if you get lost, it's kind of when it happens. And the most important thing that you have to remember is where you came from and where you knew you were exactly correct. You don't know exactly how to go back to the, to the good piece, let's say, and in that situation, be really, really cold and try to yeah, stay calm and, and think how to fix that problem and to come back as soon as possible. To stay positive if you make a mistake or to get lost is, is the most important thing because if you get angry and you react off of emotion and you start to pin it, oh, I'm going to make up the time that I just lost, it can spiral out of control very quickly. And so actually just understanding that, yep, I made a mistake, the mistakes are gonna happen. And essentially that's the key of Dakar, who can get, who can fix their mistakes faster than the next person. And so to just understand that, that time's lost, I have to reset, start fresh now, and just let it go is kind of the most important thing. Otherwise you can, you can spiral and make the situation much worse unless you just, yep, move on. Time to go. Yeah, overall I feel really, really happy with the season so far and really strong and good preparation. So I'm really excited and looking forward for Dakar 2023. Yeah, looking forward to Dakar 2023. Probably the thing that I'm uh, expecting and looking forward to the most has to be the longer days. Um, I think we're going to get a little bit more difficult navigation, which will be uh, a good thing. Um, what I'm looking for mostly is something to really separate the difference between all of us. And usually what that comes down to is more difficult navigation, the difficult terrain, and the longer days, which are all coming and something that I'm looking forward to actually a lot. Is it something that I 
enjoy most about riding the dirt bike is spending all day on the dirt bike riding in new places and that's what we're going to get this year so I'm looking forward to it a lot.